Hello and welcome everyone to this video tutorial. My name is Kumar Saurabh and today we have an exciting topic to deep dive into the two number function in PostgreSQL. PostgreSQL is a powerful and versatile relational database system. The two number function is one of its handy tools for converting strings into numerical values. It allows us to handle a string representation of numbers and convert them into their appropriate numerical types. Let's take a look at the syntax of two number function. Two number function, then within function we provide two argument, text and text format. The first argument text represents the string we want to convert to a number. The second argument text format specifies the format of a string we are converting. It's optional, but including it helps PostgreSQL understand string structure. Now let's explore some practical examples to grasp the concept better. Let's consider a table called product, which store product information. One of the columns price store the price of each product as a string. We want to convert this value into numeric types for further analysis. Let's use this query. In this query, we pass the price column as the first argument and the 49 before the decimal and the 29 after the decimal as the second argument, which represent the format of the price value. The two number function converts each value to a numeric type and assign it the alias price numeric. Now execute the code. After executing the code, the output of this query is a result with a new column called price numeric. Each value in this column will be converted numeric representation of a price column from the product tables. Now move to the another example where we will handle a different form. Now let's consider another table called expenses, which contains expense detail. The amount column stores the expense amount as a string and the format may vary. We want to convert these values into numeric types. Here is the query. In this query, we have defined format as a FM, then triple nine. After that, we have used comma, then we have used triple nine. Then after that, we have used decimal, and after decimal, we have used two nines. Using this, we tell PostgreSQL to handle values with comma as a thousand separator. The FM prefix allows a flexible formatting that removes spaces from the string. The output of this query is a result set with a new column called amount numeric. Each value in this column converted to numeric representation of the amount column from the expenses table. Lastly, we are going to take an example where we will handle non-numeric characters. Let's consider a table called orders, which contains a order information. The total column stores the total order amount as a string, including a currency symbol. We want to convert this value to numeric type. So we are going to use this query. In this query, we use the dollar sign or a currency symbol first. After that, we specify 39 before the comma separator. After comma separator, we again specify three nines. Then we specify decimal and after decimal, we have specified two nines in the format. Indicating that our total values include a dollar sign. PostgreSQL ignores the non-numeric characters and converts the rest to numeric type. The output of this query is a result set with a new column called total numeric. To summarize the different format symbols that can be used with the two number function in PostgreSQL, refer to the following chart. You can mix and match these symbols in various ways to accommodate a different format in your string values. So I hope that you have enjoyed video tutorial on PostgreSQL two number function. So at last, I want to say don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and thank you.